Holy smokes. This isn't a hockey training video. What we're going to be looking at today is uh, GeoMelt 55 Concentrate applied to rock salt. As you can see, we've got some icy road conditions. I can actually skate on it. So we have about two to three inches of packed ice over about 2.2 kilometers of road. So we're going to have uh, our ULS truck apply the product. We're going to wait for about two hours, come back, and hopefully we'll be able to get all this off in one quick plow job here today. So uh, we'll be back in two hours to plow it off for you. Welcome back to part two of our GeoMelt test trial here out in an industrial park here in Calgary. It's only actually been an hour and a half since we first applied. And you can actually see what's already happened. Uh, the geo salt has actually burned through three inches of ice. And where we've had tire traffic, if you can look out here in the distance, you'll see that we've already got amazing melt off. Right now with the wind temperature, it's about minus 16, minus 18. And we've already got water running off this road. It's incredible. Before three inches of ice, I was actually skating around on the road with hockey skates on. Right now, if I put skates on, well, first of all, half the ice is already gone without plowing. The skate blades would actually would have dug right through this loose slush and I would actually be doing a face plant. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the truck to plow and we'll show you some video of how easily this uh, three inches of ice is going to peel off this road now. So uh, stay tuned for part three. So here we are in uh, a pilot truck. We're following our ULS belly mount plow. This road has very little vehicle traffic on it, so it's good for a test. We haven't had to worry about working around vehicles right now. But the bad thing about that is vehicle traffic usually helps with the melting process because you get tire friction. So right now, like you can see a lot of this road's actually already melted off. We wouldn't even have to plow it. And before, especially in this area right here, you can see some of the residual coming off now. There was two to three inches of ice at this intersection. And we've almost got it melted off just from the little bit of traffic that's been going in and out of some of these yards here. So it's pretty amazing. Again, for the application rate here, we probably went on the high end of the application rate because there was so much ice. Typically, this wouldn't be the case uh, because we would have been on top of plow operations. This uh, part of this industrial park hasn't been cleared this year. And they've called us up to come in and do kind of a, a cleanup of it because they had some jackknifed rigs in here last night. Again, because it was just like a skating rink as per my previous uh, little figure skating demo I did for you guys. So you can just see here how much we've got plowed off, how much is actually just melted off. Uh, again, it's very amazing what's happened here. So uh, very successful trial. And uh, hopefully this will help you guys out with uh, looking at different products in the upcoming uh, months here.